Thanks. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, it is Saturday morning here, and I got my little bro here. He's out running with me. That Buster there. Beautiful morning. It's like eight o'clock right now. I think it's supposed to get pretty hot today, but we just started running like five minutes ago. Buster's already barking right there. I don't know. Yeah, it's summer right there. And yeah, we're in this pasture basically, as you guys can see, a gate right there, and it looks pretty good. Pipeline right there, as you can see, all that golden rod. If you, you know, right there. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna get walking. He's gonna get running, and yeah, hopefully we get on some rabbits. Should be a pretty good morning, so stay tuned. See you guys in a bit. Get him, boy. Find him. Definitely one here, guys. You just gotta get on the hot, hot trail. But he's still learning, too. Bet you that rabbit's in there somewhere. Good possibility. Or it could be somewhere in there, but. Let's see what happens. Found a juicy pond, guys. Might have to take a dip a little later. Oh, guys, a rabbit just ran right here. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Get it, boy. Guys, the rabbit just came out right there. Ran right along here. And up in there where he is right now. That rabbit just crossed the road right here as soon as I got up here. So, like I said, Buster's not the... He's still learning, but he should cross somewhere right here. Because that rabbit literally just ran there. All right, guys. That's where the rabbit came out, and it crossed like right, right here in this area. See, that's one reason, guys, why you want to teach your dog, your hunting dog, on a whistle like this. Usually, like the guy I hunt with, his dogs are on the whistle to come, and that's where the track is. So if we like, we see the rabbit cross like we did here, his dogs will come, and then they'll run up from there instead of trying to track all this. Hey, Caden. What are you doing? Killing these flies. <laughs> Punch them? Is that working for you? Alright, guys. I walked over here. Going over here in this thicker stuff. Might go down there and some of that thick stuff. Hopefully get on some more rabbits. That's one down. Well, probably like a half one because he didn't get it in a hole. But he did chase it. I seen it twice. So, that rabbit would have been dead if I had a gun with me. So, I guess that kind of counts as a ran rabbit. So, let's keep going. All right, guys. He smells another one right here. Like, literally about not even a minute from when I just talked to you guys. See, so, it's different for every beagle. When, like, with my beagle, with Buster... Usually he whimpers when he smells a faint track. Then when he gets on the hot track, he just he does what he usually what he just did. This rabbit, I'm assuming, is holding up in there. So I haven't seen it yet, but it's definitely in there. There's definitely a rabbit in there, and I'm assuming it's holding up in there. Which means like he'll basically have to touch it for it to bump out, which is kind of good. So we're just gonna see what happens. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about with the whimpering. Kind of whimpers at the same time. I haven't seen the rabbit yet. Alright, I know you guys can't see him. Well, actually, you probably can. You can see the brush moving. Yeah, that's that's my beagle. My beagle's got the other dogs going. He sees it. He sees it. There it goes. There it goes. It's a small baby rabbit. Baby rabbit. He'll be crossing right here. He'll be crossing eventually. I seen that rabbit. I don't know if I got it on camera. I'm sure I, I'm sure I did, but I'll probably hard to see. But smaller rabbit. Yeah, right where he is. 
You guys probably can't even see them. But, see what happens. He smells it. That's where it was. There you go. It's on the trail now. At least it kind of is. Still learning. It was a smaller rabbit, so it's not going to be as big as the scent trail, but. It did go over here. I seen it. I guarantee you it went in that brush pile. You guys can see how thick this is. You know, I really don't want them in here, but I can't. I won't be able to get them out of it, so I'm just gonna let them run it. I guess. All right, guys. I'm now on the road up here, and Buster's right down there. Um, 76 feet down that way. Update on him. He's down there, not far, like 40 yards. Well, actually, not even like just right down there. And we haven't gotten on a rabbit in a little while, but I don't know. I'm going to, it's getting pretty hot. It's like already 85, 90 degrees, and it's like 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. So I'm going to run a little bit longer than probably call it quits for, for today anyway. Get him, boy. There he is. Look at the stuff he's going through. I mean, he's a, definitely a great dog for getting in that thick stuff. Let me tell you. Just practice, practice, and he'll keep he'll keep on that trail. Still learning. Really good chance. I haven't seen the rabbit, but I'm sure it's holding up in there. I mean, look at it. I know I wouldn't come out of there if I was a rabbit. That's one thing with today. You know, he's not running them as long, and he's not um, staying on the trail as good because just look at how thick this is. It's not good, really good to be running in this right now, but, I mean, there's a lot of rabbits in here. I'll tell you that much. There he is, guys. He's panting pretty hard. I might, I might take him in. He's hunting hard enough. He, he's done good. It's so hot and it's just so thick, you know. I don't want to really push him anymore. He's done really good, you know. Hey, buddy. Come here, boss. Hey. How you doing? Yeah, look at him, guys. He is hot. You know, usually in the morning when it's wet out, you know, it, it's a, da a little damp and his fur is usually wet, but now it's... It's not, he's hot, so I'm going to take him in. All right, guys, there he is. We're going to head in around um, yeah, after he goes pee, but take one last look at this view. I mean, yeah, that sun right there, that sucker is hot. It's like 90, I'm telling you, and it's only 10 o'clock right now. But I'm going to go ahead and get him some water. I don't know, I just, this is, I'm up by my uncle's house. And first time running up here, it's definitely a good spot. This pl this spot up here is filled with predators, though. Howdy, folks! I'm back. Um, we ran about a good two hours. Like I said, you know, it's just so hot, 90 degrees out, and I'm sure he's hot. He's still panting. I'm gonna go ahead and get him some water. But yeah, um, it, where my um uncle's house is, it's right right there. It's not far. This is right across the road. The dirt road's right up there. And like I said, seen a few rabbits. Could have killed three out of them. Three of them. I think he got him four or five chases. That's good. He is thirsty. Look at him. Laying down and getting a drink. That feel good, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, I might as well let him sit here a little bit. Let him roll around. But any other than that, guys, let me know if you have a dog, a hunting dog. What kind it is, what he runs, and just anything you want down in the comments. I respond to all the comments, guys, so go ahead, leave a comment down below. Um, also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to drop a like. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, um, make sure you subscribe for more videos. You know, you don't want to miss hunting, fishing, and just outdoor videos, mainly hunting and fishing. But I don't know if you guys know, but YouTube doesn't support hunting videos anymore, so... Other than that, guys, um, it's hot, as you can tell. You know, it's not, not, not cold. Um, but, yeah, anyway, 
like I said, like, comment, subscribe. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and as always, see you guys next time.